So we'll see if my skin looks any younger or more youthful. Fingers crossed. I will try anything to make my skin look more youthful and younger and dewier and luminous. Hello everybody, this is Jennifer of JennySueMakeup.com and today I am coming to you to talk about skincare, specifically facials, specifically a hydrofacial. Now, I experienced my first hydrofacial a couple days ago and I documented it via Snapchat and with my iPhone just horizontally talking to it. So I'm gonna walk you through my very first experience with a hydrofacial, what it did, what it's supposed to do, and did it do what it was supposed to do. So it's Monday and usually Mondays start off pretty slowly and not super exciting, but today is going to be different because I'm headed into Atlanta to get my first ever hydrofacial, which is why I'm not wearing a ton of makeup this morning, which is a little scary for me. But y'all know me, I can't go completely barefaced, so I at least have on concealer, waterproof mascara, a little bit of eyebrow pencil, blush, and powder. Now when you go to get a facial, it really doesn't make sense to wear makeup. The number one thing I can't walk out of the house without is my eyebrows, of course, because I have none, so I always have to draw them in. And I wear a little bit of concealer, mascara, and a little blush and some lipstick just to feel like myself and make a good impression when I walked into the office. Not that they probably cared, but it made me feel better, which is why I wear makeup anyway. I am super duper tired for some reason, and that is not a good thing when you're driving to Atlanta, so I have made a quick stop to fix that problem. And of course on the way there, I had to stop at a quick trip to get myself a Red Bull. Who knows what's in those things, and if it does anything good for my skin, I kind of doubt it. But it kept me awake on the road to Atlanta, so... That was a plus. So once I got to my appointment at WIFH in Atlanta to get my hydrofacial, I was actually on time, which was an amazing thing. If you live anywhere in or near or around Atlanta and you're going in for an appointment, you never know what traffic's gonna be like. I'm in the right spot and I have 10 minutes until my appointment time, which is amazing. And I can't wait to see how different my skin looks, if at all, after this hydrofacial. Because I hardly have any makeup on right now. I mean, I have on blush and I do have on concealer, but I'll have on my skin as powder, which is so not like me. I just usually can't stand myself without foundation. So we'll see if my skin looks any younger or more youthful. Fingers crossed. I will try anything to make my skin look more youthful and younger and dewier and luminous. I'll be back once I see if this works or not. If nothing else, it'll be very relaxing. I can't tell you the last time that I got a facial. I really can't. So I'm not late, gotta go in. And when I got there, I had no idea what to expect because I had not even researched what a hydrofacial was, which was kind of dumb of me. I don't know why I usually research everything when it comes to skincare and if I'm gonna have something done to my face, I just kind of trusted it would be great and relaxing and would do whatever it's supposed to do. When I got in the room, I mean, it was nice low lit lighting and a bunch of products and serums and lotions all around. And then there was this fancy little machine with all these tubes and lasers and um, a computer attached to it. So I had no idea what I was in store for. But once it got started, the girl that helped me go through the process and actually did the hydrofacial, she was so informative and answered all of my gazillion questions that I had about what I was about to go through. That made me really comfortable from the get-go when we got started. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through exactly what she did. Here is a little synopsis of what Sarah did to my face for this hydrofacial and what was supposed to go down. It is a multi-step treatment that cleanses, evenly exfoliates, and extracts to remove impurities and dead skin cells, while at the same time replenishing vital nutrients, including antioxidants, peptides, and hyaluronic Acid. The first step is obviously cleansing. She cleansed my whole skin because yes, I did have a little bit of makeup on. And then she said that it had a little bit of glucosamine in it, which, what does that mean? So glucosamine dislodges dead skin cells and helps kind of prep your skin for the rest of what's about to happen. So then the second step was the glycolic preparation, which is a mix of glycolic acid, salicylic acid together, and that basically gets you ready for the next step, which is the extraction. So the third step was the fun part, which is the extraction, which I was fascinated by. And that is when she basically has like a little bitty tiny vacuum that she rubs all over your face to pull out the extraction and pull out the stuff from the um, clogged pores. And that is also salicylic acid. One of the things that I recorded was the actual extraction tube of what she took out from my skin as she did the facial. And I didn't think it was gross at all. I thought it was actually fascinating. And after I did a Snapchat about my extraction tube and the little dirt floating around in the tube. My husband sent me a snap and he, he goes, that's really gross. So my husband just sent me a snap back saying that my last Snapchat was really gross about the extraction, so I apologize if I grossed y'all out. That shows you that it actually works and actually did something. So that's why I think it was, um, I think that was a necessary thing to show people. Maybe it was gross. Maybe it doesn't gross you out, but 
and shows you that it works. And so the final step was the antioxidant step where she added some antioxidants and some hyaluronic acid to my skin. Now I did ask about hyaluronic acid and that is apparently a very big deal. And hyaluronic basically helps plump up the skin and give you a little bit more volume, which Lord knows I need at 38 years old. So I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm sharing my bare face after they just took all of my makeup off at the hydrofacial. I mean, I don't even have my eyebrows on, which is really difficult for me to stare at myself like this, but I had to video what my skin looks like after this hydrofacial. Cause you know, you sometimes get some of those things that, you know, skincare places offer in doctor's offices and you're like, uh, it's not going to do anything. And it doesn't, but this hydrofacial, I mean, look at my skin. I mean, it's a little pink and she said it would be a little irritated for a while just cause she did so much like with extractions and that sort of thing. Other than it being a little pink in those areas that she really worked on, like around my mouth and my chin and my nose, my skin looks pretty darn good and glowy. I am shocked that it actually looks this good and so excited. I mean, if my eyebrows were done and had a little bit of concealer on, I think it would be totally fine. She worked all the way down my neck too. So my neck actually feels really good. I mean, I guess when you have facials, you really shouldn't ignore your neck because it's an extension of your face and your body. And she said that once I put on my makeup that I am going to just be so amazed at to how well my makeup goes on. Cause it took around 45 minutes to an hour after I asked her a ton of questions, but um, yeah, just had to document this. Oh, the eyebrows kill me, but the skin, I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking right now. I wish I could afford to do this every day. After I was done, Literally besides the redness, my skin, I could feel it. And sometimes I can feel those little clogged pores. Like literally they kind of sit up on your skin. If you know what I'm talking about, they were completely flat, smooth. My skin looked radiant and glowy and I just couldn't believe it. But this was not painful. It was very relaxing and it actually worked. I think she was able to add and kind of specify what my skin needed because they do ask you questions ahead of time as to what your skin needs are, what your wants are. Are you wanting anti-aging? Are you wanting hydration? It delivered exactly what I wanted it to. And I feel like my skin has a more youthful appearance. And today I am wearing just a few products. Let me see if I can go ahead and find them. I'm wearing just a few products and not my usual very heavy skin makeup like I usually do to kind of show you that my skin still glows three days later. I mean, I have on no setting powder whatsoever and I always wear a setting powder, but this, oh, look how glowy my skin is. I mean, seriously, despite this little, I have something popping up right there, but just ignore that. All I have on is this, it cosmetic CC cream, which I love. Now it does say it's illumination. So maybe, maybe this stuff has a little bit of illumination in it, which I didn't realize. Either way, makes my skin look great. And also the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in color light. So those are the two things that I have on my skin right now. That's it besides, you know, some blush. So in conclusion, I would definitely give this hydrofacial two excited thumbs up. And thank you to WIFH for giving me this treatment complimentary. No, this is not a paid sponsorship, but I, it was given to me complimentary and I did enjoy it and I would definitely honestly go back to get another one because the results in my skin do not lie as to what it did for my 38 year old dry dehydrated skin. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me two thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to see in the future, please feel free to leave me something in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.